Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will understand what you should choose, what you should go for DSA or development. Daily, on the daily basis this question is asked to me, daily I clear a lot of queries for the students and today I decided let's once and for all remove this query, eradicate this query from our students mind because whenever I go live on my telegram, whatsapp, instagram community everywhere this doubt is flooded. Even on my youtube lives there is one person who always asks this doubt. So I made sure that after this video nobody would ask it again because this would provide you sufficient clarity on it. Fine. Now coming to DSA versus development, what to do, what you should exactly choose. So for that let me tell you one thing, why is DSA so important? First understand the importance of both and then I will tell you the realistic take what actually should be followed, what actually you should go for, fine. So why is DSA so important? Because for any role of developer be it, developer be it, tester be it, maximum technical roles wherever the roles are technical in nature generally 99.9% .9 companies ask DSA, fine. They ask problem solving in their hiring rounds, they ask coding, they ask the problems in which DSA is being used extensively, fine. So for that DSA is super important, be it college placements, if it's off campus then this becomes more important. If you're trying to switch to the product based companies again DSA is clear winner, fine. So DSA is actually very very important. Now if it is so important we should leave development, isn't it? No, it's not the case. I'll tell you why. Look, if I go to the development, development is the actual skill that you're going to use inside the company, fine. And the proficiency in development or the technology of development, for example, React, Node, apart from them, apart from the Mern stack, frameworks like Spring Boot, Flask, these proficiencies, these skills will actually raise your chances of selection. They will provide you a better chance of selection or a better chance of getting hired in the company, fine. So you need development. Also it tells that what kind of exposure you have in terms of technology. You might be super good at solving DSA problems but if you do not have any exposure to the development technologies, if you're somebody who's living under the rock, doesn't know how development functions, you don't know how Node, React, Spring Boot or any kind of development frameworks work, then you're of no use to me, right? Also, how do I find that you have done some good projects, fine? Either you're trained on a skill which is different than development. For example, there are skills like blockchain, AI, ML, different from development, fine. But if you're somebody who's trying to be a front-end developer or a back-end developer or a full-stack developer, then at that point of time, I need to know that you know certain technologies, you're aware of certain technologies, you've built some projects. And without building projects, you will never learn what development is, fine. So for that purpose, development is super important. Also, DSA to ek bar doge, ek round, do round, teen round de doge, fine. Uske baad company mein jaake kya karoge? Company mein roz roz to tumse DSA solve nahi karwayenge. Simple si baat hai. Company ko, company is hiring a developer. Unhe kaam chahiye tumse, fine. Unhe koi matlab nahi hai, ek point ke baad, once you get hired, do you not have any idea how much DSA is coming? They are concerned whether the technology that has been assigned to you, be it Spring Boot, be it React, be it Node, be it ADF, be it anything, be it Spark, be it Flask, anything you have given, okay? Whatever technology is at your hand, how you are leveraging it out, are you delivering the work in the manner it has been asked? Fine. If, if you are delivering good things, if you are giving the things in the desired manner, great. But how will you give development if you don't If you do not know development, struggle with the job. It may be that you will select DSA. But you will be very tired after that. So this is super important that you know development well. But now I have explained you the importance of both. Now let's take a realistic take on it. Okay? Let's take a realistic take le on development. Once it becomes a realistic take, ho jai, uske baad आप चूज कर सकते हो। Realistic take ये while getting hired, DSA is always more important, always, fine. Because a lot of times somebody would not ask you about development. मोटा मोटा पूछेगा, you'll sail through. 
So at that point of time, you need to have a hang of things of development. But alongside that, in mostly companies, DSAs asked extensively, at least for freshers, for people who are one year experience, two year experience, four year experience, till you reach an experience of five to six years, DSA is very important. Uh, even after six years, it is very important. Fine. Now, let me tell you one more thing. Only DSA will never give you selections. Fine. So you need to have a good base in development. What you can do is, while preparing for any placement or any interview, first, prepare some good projects. So order should be learner skill. Fine. Learner skill. Then build projects. Fine. And prepare decent notes. Decent notes of development fine so here i am talking about skill in development fine so this should be the order once these decent notes have been prepared from where you can revise again and again for every interview once this has been done then dsa practice dsa Keep on practicing DSA and I can keep on writing this. Fine. So DSA se upar to kuch nahi hai. Iske baad. Once you have prepared these notes. So realistic take hai. Important. Dono apni apni jaga honge. Lekin hiring ke liye DSA important. Fine. Bohut realistic take de rahe hoon. Bohut log kahenge. No, no. You also need development. You also need this. Realistic baat bata raha Fine. So company ho mein apply karo ge. 100 companies if you are targeting. Unme se agar 70 are asking DSA. It makes no sense. No to leave DSA and go for development. There are some companies, very rare, which give you project, they do not ask DSA, give you project, they tell you build it and then on the basis of that they take you in. But majority to DSA se liete hai. So DSA achhe se practice karlo. How do you practice? Two things, both are free. Top 100 codes on Prep Insta, free hai. Top 150 not out questions, free of cost on prepinsta.com fine prepinsta.com pe free of cost hai you search top 150 not out questions a person who has practiced these 150 not out questions well enough who knows the patterns which are applied here mang fang product based service based beat any company you can crack any company in this world fine but apart from this let me tell you one thing DSA practice is of paramount importance. Nothing can match it. For development, I have sorted things for you. Development ka koi skill seekho. For example, if you're somebody who's targeting backend developer, Java seekha, Spring Boot seekha, achche se projects banaye. Post that, when you've built projects, then prepare the decent notes of Spring Boot. Go for the interview questions that have been frequently asked. Achche se uske notes bana liye, padh liya. Once it has been done, practice DSA. Andhi practice karo DSA ki. Rather, keep on studying basic concepts of DSA while doing skill. Fine. While you're doing skill, keep on brushing up the basic concepts of DSA. DSA bohat important. I cannot stress enough on it. But Order ye follow kar lena. Problem sort out. Whenever you feel, what should I revise more? I have revised enough on the both sides. What should I revise more? Revise the DSA first. Because the later subsequent rounds will be on the development or your skill or your projects. The initial rounds are always on DSA. So, pehle jo saamne share khada hai, usko tackle kar lo, uske baad chale jana. Thik hai? As simple as that. And that's all for this video. If you're having any doubt, tell me in the comment section because top three comments can stand a chance to win the Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. And follow these social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update. Apart from this, koi bhi ho, whoever needs this information, go ahead, spread it. Keep doing good without any expectation. Good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.